<laughs> he is Southside born and raised, and he's open for comedians like Tommy Davidson. That's how we follow him, found him. And Robert, Robert Kelly. Like, as it, not that Kelly. Oh, not, okay. Not that, not well, that. this Thursday, this guy's <laughs> at the Laugh Factory for his hot new show called Laughing Insanity. Jay Washington, good morning. Good morning. I'm sorry I was on the delay with you. So we went to see Tommy Davidson the last time, not the last time he was in town, the time before that. Time before. And he opened for Tommy. Oh, and you were we there? we died laughing because we, we were just like, oh, we got to know this guy. So glad you finally came I'm on. I'm glad I finally on here. Yeah. She looked at me in the back. She was like, wait, is that him? I'm not sure. Well, you know, oh. you kind of blended in. It was a little dark. Yeah, I got on this black dark, A little dark, like, it was a little dark back there. <laughs> and I understand I'm dark in the 2.15 in the morning, so it's kind of <laughs> these lights are helping out a lot right now. All right, so you have performed all over Chicago. Yes, yes. And you have a show at the Laugh Factory yes. tomorrow night. Yes. Okay, so what's that all about? It's called Laughing Insanity. I, along with another guy, we co-hosted in a radio show called Educated Insanity. So I was getting a chance to interview all of the headliners that the Laugh Factory would bring in. So the, the uh, director of operations, she was like, would you like to host the show here? I was like, yeah. She's like, well, what can we do different? I was like, let's air it on the radio show. Okay. So I got to put together a, a hot lineup of comics that I know, people who've done uh, Comic View, First Amendment, Who's Got Jokes, some of everything. They've been all around the country. Kelly Howard, Mark Henderson, Smitty B, Kevin Williams. So we're just going to watch you guys... Talk on, on, on the stage? No, no. no? It's a comedy show broadcasting uh -huh. on the air. But it's live stream. Oh, it's live stream. Got it. Look at you all in the, I gotta, you know, got in the, the technology. Switch, switch it up a little. Now, one of the things I loved about him is that he talked about, I feel bad for comedians' kids. Oh, I always shoot. do. Because is, is that the don't. whole basis of every comedian? Once you have a kid, that they become they, they part of your They give you material. Act? They give you material. They do things. They say things. They, they make you part of them. You just look at them like, really? <laughs> really? Because that's how my child is. And my child, I know he's mine because Tess proved it. But <laughs> that's... Maury says... No, it wasn't even Maury. It was that 99 cent when you get from the dollar store. And I just, I just trusted them results because I ain't had no more money. But he'll joke with me. He'll joke with me on his own. And he'll say things to me that'll get my pride. And I get upset. Like, we were at a, a restaurant. And he just was going in on me for like 25 minutes. He's like, look at your head. It's like an egg head. It's a bowling ball. It's got its own atmosphere. I was like, dude, He's coming I, back at I you. could punch you. He was like, I'm your child. You can't get mad at me. I was like, touche, sir. Touche. <laughs> and wait till he becomes a teenager. That's going to be interesting. Then I'm putting him on uh, somebody else, like oh. a mama. <laughs> <laughs> now, we found out some fun facts about you that you chose not to share with us. For instance, I don't know if you knew this, but he used to be a pro wrestler. Yes, yes. A pro wrestler. What was your wrestling name? Trauma. Trauma. Yeah, a uh, big dude. <laughs> I couldn't have no name like, oh, give it up for Tiny Jones. I can't come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give it up for uh, Little Larry. Okay, A, how do you get into pro wrestling to begin with? And then how do you, what, when do you decide? Wait a minute. That, yeah, yeah, that's me. <laughs> That's Rock all of me. You. Okay, not exactly The Rock, but yeah, you, I could see how you were getting there. How did you get into this? I have loved it since I was a kid. And you used, we used to always be in my neighborhood playing in front yards, wrestling in the grass. And I got whooped afterwards. But everybody <laughs> want, because everybody wanted to play in my grass specifically. We couldn't go in nobody else's grass. I bet, you, I bet your parents loved that one. My, my, my mother was like, uh, so, so, so this is what's going to happen? I was like, look, I have no control over this. We have no fence. <laughs> And so then you just decided to try and make some money off I it. had a buddy who got into it, and then he was like, you should come on and do it. I was like, I don't have the money. He was like, I'm going to show you a place that's a little bit cheaper. And, of course, cheap was a great thing for me. So <laughs> I went in and did it, and then I, got, I was in it for like 11 and a half years. I still 11 do it. and a half years? I still do it occasionally, yeah. Now, okay. like, now what does that mean, occasionally? <laughs> occasionally. Well, let me, let, let's break it down to you. How do you occasionally? Occasionally means when I have free time, when I'm not doing stand-up, if I ask, they ask me, say, uh, Jay, can you do a show? I'd be like, all right, let me check my schedule. If I'm free, I don't want to do nothing else. I'll take a wrestling show, wear some of my wrestling it. boots and everything. Okay, well, this is interesting. Yes, it is. I know I it is. I think that maybe at some point in time, you ought to try to connect the two. Oh, I already have. There's, oh. a, there's a joke I do about it. No, 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 no. Not a joke. No, no. What are you I'm, thinking? I'm thinking <laughs> there has to be some kind of comedy. We'll talk about it. Yeah, there's we'll, got to be we'll something with this. wrestling. Like a mix. A mix right on the stage. And live stream. <laughs> To so them you all. body slam somebody. Yeah. Let me tell you about the one about the monkey and the two balls. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. And, that. and that's the countdown. But listen, if you want to check out Jay for yourself, not doing my idea, but something else, we're going to work it out. Uh, you can see him tomorrow night, Laugh Factory, Belmont and Broadway. For more information, you go to laughfactory.com. And good luck to you. Thank you thank, so much for coming on. Thank you for on. having me.